A decoherence-free subspace DFS, is a subspace of a system's Hilbert space that is invariant to non-unitary dynamics. Alternatively stated, they are a small section of the system Hilbert space where the system is decoupled from the environment and thus its evolution is completely unitary. DFSs can also be characterized as a special class of quantum error correcting codes. In this representation they are passive error preventing codes since these subspaces are encoded with information that possibly won't require any active stabilization methods. These subspaces prevent destructive environmental interactions by isolating quantum information. As such, they are an important subject in quantum computing, where coherent control of quantum systems is the desired goal. Decoherence creates problems in this regard by causing loss of coherence between the quantum states of a system and therefore the decay of their interference terms, thus leading to loss of information from the open quantum system to the surrounding environment. Since quantum computers cannot be isolated from their environment i.e. we cannot have a truly isolated quantum system in the real world and information can be lost, the study of DFSs is important for the implementation of quantum computers into the real world. <laughs> Background Origins The study of DFSs began with a search for structured methods to avoid decoherence in the subject of quantum information processing The methods involved attempts to identify particular states which have the potential of being unchanged by certain decohering processes i.e. certain interactions with the environment. These studies started with observations made by G. M. Palma, K. A. Swominen, and A. K. Eckert, who studied the consequences of pure dephasing on two qubits that have the same interaction with the environment. They found that two such qubits do not decohere. Originally the term, "...sub-decoherence", was used by Palma to describe this situation. Noteworthy is also independent work by Martin Plenio, V. Latko Vidral and Peter Knight who constructed an error-correcting code with codewords that are invariant under a particular unitary time evolution in spontaneous emission. <laughs> <laughs> Further development Shortly afterwards, L. M. Duan and G. C. Guo also studied this phenomenon and reached the same conclusions as Palma, Swominen, and Eckert. However, Duan and Guo applied their own terminology, using «coherence preserving states» to describe states that do not decohere with dephasing. Duan and Guo furthered this idea of combining two qubits to preserve coherence against dephasing, to both collective dephasing and dissipation showing that decoherence is prevented in such a situation. This was shown by assuming knowledge of the system environment coupling strength. However, such models were limited since they dealt with the decoherence processes of dephasing and dissipation solely. To deal with other types of decoherences, the previous models presented by Palma, Swominen, and Eckert, and Duan and Guo were cast into a more general setting by P. Zanardi and M. Rossetti. They expanded the existing mathematical framework to include more general system environment interactions, such as collective decoherence the same decoherence process acting on all the states of a quantum system and general Hamiltonians. Their analysis gave the first formal and general circumstances for the existence of decoherence-free states, which did not rely upon knowing the system environment coupling strength. Zanardi and Rossetti called these DF states, "...error-avoiding codes". Subsequently, Daniel A. Litter proposed the title, "...decoherence-free subspace", for the space in which these DF states exist. 
Litter studied the strength of DF states against perturbations and discovered that the coherence prevalent in DF states can be upset by evolution of the system Hamiltonian. This observation discerned another prerequisite for the possible use of DF states for quantum computation. A thoroughly general requirement for the existence of DF states was obtained by Litter, D. Bacon, and K. B. Whaley expressed in terms of the Krauss operator sum representation OSR. Later, A. Shabani and Litter generalized the DFS framework relaxing the requirement that the initial state needs to be a DF state and modified some known conditions for DFS. Recent research A subsequent development was made in generalizing the DFS picture when E. Nil, R. Laflamme, and L. Viola introduced the concept of a «noiseless subsystem». Nil extended to higher dimensional irreducible representations of the algebra generating the dynamical symmetry in the system-environment interaction. Earlier work on DFSs described DF states as singlets, which are one-dimensional irreducible representations. This work proved to be successful, as a result of this analysis was the lowering of the number of qubits required to build a DFS under collective decoherence from 4 to 3. The generalization from subspaces to subsystems formed a foundation for combining most known decoherence prevention and nulling strategies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conditions for the existence of decoherence-free subspaces. Topic: <laughs> Hamiltonian formulation Consider an n-dimensional quantum system S coupled to a bath B and described by the combined system bath Hamiltonian as follows H caret equals H caret S I caret B plus i caret s h caret b plus h caret i Display style hat h equals hat h underscore s o times hat i underscore b plus hat i underscore s o times hat h underscore b plus hat h underscore i, where the interaction Hamiltonian h caret i display style hat h underscore i is given in the usual way as h caret i equals i s caret i b caret i display style hat h underscore i equals sum underscore i hat s underscore i o times hat b underscore i and where s caret i b caret i display style hat s underscore i big hat b underscore i big act upon the system bath only and h caret s h caret B display style hat h underscore s big hat h underscore b big is the system bath Hamiltonian and I caret s I caret b display style hat I underscore s big hat I underscore b big is the identity operator acting on the system bath 
Under these conditions, the dynamical evolution within H tilde S H S display style tilde math call H underscore S subset math call H underscore S where H S display style math call H underscore S is the system Hilbert space is completely unitary? Phi display style for all phi wrangle all possible bath states if and only if i s caret i phi equals s i phi s I element of C display style hat s underscore i phi wrangle equals s underscore i phi wrangle s underscore i in math b c phi display style for all phi wrangle that span h tilde s Display style math call tilde h underscore s and s caret i element of o s b h s b display style for all hat s underscore i in math call o underscore s b math call h underscore s b the space of bounded system bath operators on h s b display style math call h underscore s b e the system and bath are not coupled at first i e they can be represented as a product state e there is no leakage of states out of h tilde s display style math call tilde h underscore s that is the system hamiltonian h caret s display style hat h underscore s does not map the states phi display style phi wrangle out of h tilde s display style math call tilde h underscore s in other words if the system begins in h tilde s Display style math call tilde h underscore s, i.e., the system and bath are initially decoupled, and the system Hamiltonian h caret s display style hat h underscore s leaves h tilde s equals s P A N Phi K K equals one N Display style math call tilde H underscore S equals span big big phi underscore K wrangle big underscore K equals one carrot N big invariant then H tilde s display style math call tilde h underscore s is a dfs if and only if it satisfies i these states are degenerate eigenkets of s caret i element of o s b h s B display style hat s underscore i in math call o underscore s b math call h underscore s b 
and thus are distinguishable, hence preserving information in certain decohering processes. Any subspace of the system Hilbert space that satisfies the above conditions is a decoherence-free subspace. However, information can still «leak» out of this subspace if condition e is not satisfied. Therefore, even if a DFS exists under the Hamiltonian conditions, there are still non-unitary actions that can act upon these subspaces and take states out of them into another subspace, which may or may not be a DFS, of the system Hilbert space. Operator sum representation formulation Let H tilde S H S display style math call tilde H underscore S subset math call H underscore S be an n dimensional DFS where H S display style math call H underscore S is the systems the quantum system alone Hilbert space the Krauss operators when written in terms of the n basis states that span HS display style math call H underscore s are given as al equals GLU tilde o o a l GL equals a j k u c j display style math BF o underscore l equals begin P matrix G underscore l math BF tilde u and math BF 0 math BF 0 Zero and Math BF bar O underscore L and P matrix quad G underscore L equals SQRT a underscore J Langle K Math BF U underscore C J Wrangle where U C equals E X P minus I H C T Display style Math BF U underscore C equals Math at EXP big FRAC I Math BF H underscore C T H B A R big H C Display style Math BF H underscore C is the combined system bath Hamiltonian U tilde display style math bf tilde u acts on h tilde s h s display style math call tilde h underscore s subset math call h underscore s and a l Display style math bf bar o underscore l is an arbitrary matrix that acts on h tilde s. Display style math call tilde h caret bot underscore s. The orthogonal complement to h tilde s. Display style math call tilde h underscore s. Since a l display style math bf bar o underscore l operates on h tilde s. Display style math call tilde h caret bot underscore s. Then it will not create decoherence in H tilde S display style math call tilde H underscore S. However, it can possibly create decohering effects in H tilde S display style math call tilde H caret bot underscore S. Consider the basis kets J. J equals one N 
Display style big J wrangle big underscore J equals one carrot N which span H tilde S display style math call tilde H underscore S and furthermore they fulfill a L J equals G L U tilde J L display style math BF bar a underscore L J wrangle equals G underscore L math BF tilde U J wrangle quad for all L U tilde display style math BF tilde U is an arbitrary unitary operator and may or may not be time dependent but it is independent of the indexing variable l display style math bf math it l the g l display style math bf math it g underscore l s are complex constants since j J equals one N display style big J wrangle big underscore J equals one carrot N spans H tilde S display style math call tilde H underscore S then any pure state psi element of h tilde s display style psi wrangle in math call tilde h underscore s can be written as a linear combination of these basis kets psi equals j equals 1 n b j J B J element of C display style psi wrangle equals sum underscore J equals one carrot N B underscore J J wrangle quad B underscore J in math B C. This state will be decoherence free. This can be seen by considering the action of L display style math bf bar a underscore L on psi display style psi wrangle a L psi equals J equals one n b J a L J equals J equals one N B J G L U tilde J O L psi equals G L U tilde psi display style begin aligned math B F bar O underscore L psi wrangle and equals sum underscore J equals one carrot N B underscore J math B F bar O underscore L J wrangle and equals sum underscore J equals one carrot N B underscore J G underscore L Math BF tilde U J wrangle Math BF bar O underscore L psi wrangle and equals G underscore L Math BF tilde U psi wrangle end aligned. Therefore, in terms of the density operator representation of psi display style psi wrangle rho I N I T I A L equals psi psi 
Display style row underscore initial equals psi wrangle langle psi. The evolution of this state as Rho F I N A L equals L A L Rho I N I T I A L a L equals L G L U tilde psi psi H L U tilde equals U tilde psi psi U tilde display style begin aligned row underscore final and equals sum underscore L math B F O underscore L row underscore initial math B F O underscore L carrot dagger and equals sum underscore L G underscore L math B F tilde U psi wrangle langle psi H underscore L math B F F tilde U carrot dagger and equals Math BF tilde U psi wrangle langle psi Math BF tilde U carrot dagger end aligned. The above expression says that Rho F I N A L Display style Math BF Math it Rho underscore final is a pure state and that its evolution is unitary since u tilde display style math bf tilde u is unitary therefore any state in h tilde s display style math call tilde h underscore s will not decohere since its evolution is governed by a unitary operator and so its dynamical evolution will be completely unitary. Thus H tilde S display style math call tilde H underscore S is a decoherence free subspace. The above argument can be generalized to an initial arbitrary mixed state as well. Topic: Semigroup formulation. This formulation makes use of the semigroup approach. The Lindblad decohering term determines when the dynamics of a quantum system will be unitary, in particular when L d rho equals zero. Display style math bf math it l underscore d rho equals zero, where rho display style math bf math it rho is the density operator representation of the state of the system. The dynamics will be decoherence free. Let j j equals one n display style big j wrangle big underscore j equals 1 caret n span h tilde s h s display style math call tilde h underscore s subset math call h underscore s where h s Display style math call h underscore s is the system's Hilbert space. Under the assumptions that i the noise parameters of the coefficient matrix of the Lindblad decohering term are not fine-tuned, i.e., no special assumptions are made about them. E there is no dependence on the initial conditions of the initial state of the systema necessary and sufficient condition for h tilde s display style math call tilde h underscore s 
to be a DFS as J display style for all J wrangle F alpha J equals lambda alpha J alpha Display style Math BF underscore alpha J wrangle equals Lambda underscore alpha J wrangle quad for all alpha. The above expression states that all basis states J Display style J wrangle are degenerate eigenstates of the error generators F alpha alpha equals 1 m equals n times n display style big math bff underscore alpha big underscore alpha equals 1 caret m equals n times n as such their respective coherence terms do not decohere thus states within h Tilda S display style math call tilde H underscore S will remain mutually distinguishable after a decohering process since their respective eigenvalues are degenerate and hence identifiable after action under the error generators. Topic. DFSs as a special class of information preserving structures IPS and quantum error correcting codes QECCs Topic Information preserving structures IPS DFSs can be thought of as encoding information through its set of states to see this consider a d dimensional open quantum system that is prepared in the state rho display style math bf rho a non negative ie its eigenvalues are positive trace preserving t r rho equals 1 Display style big math bf math it tr row equals one big d times d display style d times d density operator that belongs to the system's Hilbert Schmidt space, the space of bounded operators on h display style math call h b h Display style big math call b math call h big. Suppose that this density operator state is selected from a set of states s equals rho i i equals one n element of h tilde s. Display style s equals big rho underscore i big underscore i equals one caret n in math call tilde h underscore s a d f s of h s. Display style math call h underscore s the system's Hilbert space and where n d. Display style math b Bf math it n. This set of states is called a code because the states within this set encode particular kind of information. That is, the set S encodes information through its states. This information that is contained within S display style math bf math it S must be able to be accessed since the information is encoded in the states in S display style math bf math it S. These states must be distinguishable to some process zeta display style math bf zeta say that attempts to acquire the information. Therefore, for two states, rho i row j element of s i does not equal j display style math bf row underscore i math bf row underscore j in math it s big i neq j big 
the process zeta display style math bf zeta is information preserving for these states if the states rho i rho j display style math bf rho underscore i math bf rho underscore j remain as distinguishable after the process as they were before it stated in a more general manner a code s display style math bf math it s or dfs is preserved by a process zeta display style math bf zeta iff each pair of states rho i rho j element of s display style math bf rho underscore i math bf rho underscore j in math it s is as distinguishable after zeta display style math bf zeta is applied as they were before it was applied a more practical description would be s display style math bf math it s is preserved by a process zeta display style math bf zeta if and only if rho rho element of s display style for all math bf rho rho in math it s and x element of r plus display style math it x in math b r caret plus zeta rho minus x rho 1 equals rho minus x rho 1 display style big math bf zeta big math bf rho math it x math bf rho big big underscore 1 equals big math bf rho math it x math bf rho big underscore 1 this just says that zeta display style math bf zeta is a 1 to 1 trace distance preserving map on s display style math bf math it s in this picture dfs's are sets of states codes rather whose mutual distinguishability is unaffected by a process zeta display style math bf zeta topic quantum error correcting codes qeccs since dfs's can encode information through their sets of states then they are secure against errors decohering processes in this way dfs's can be looked at as a special class of qeccs where information is encoded into states which can be disturbed by an interaction with the environment but retrieved by some reversal process consider a code c equals span j k display style c equals operator name span big big j underscore k wrangle big big which is a subspace of the system hilbert space with encoded information given by j k display style big j underscore k wrangle big i e the code words this code can be implemented to protect against decoherence and thus prevent loss of information in a small section of the system's Hilbert space. The errors are caused by interaction of the system with the environment bath and are represented by the Krauss operators. After the system has interacted with the bath, the information contained within 
C Display style Math BF Math it C must be able to be decoded. Therefore, to retrieve this information a recovery operator R Display style Math BF R is introduced. So a QECC is a subspace C Display style Math BF Math it C Along with a set of recovery operators R R Display style big math BF R underscore R big Let C Display style math BF math it C be a QECC for the error operators represented by the Krauss operators A L Display style big math BF O underscore L big with recovery operators R R Display style big math BF R underscore R big Then C Display style math BF math it C is a DFS if and only if upon restriction to C display style math BF math it C then R R U tilde S R Display style math BF R underscore R propto math BF tilde U underscore S carrot dagger for all R where U tilde S display style math BF tilde U underscore S carrot dagger is the inverse of the system evolution operator. In this picture of reversal of quantum operations, DFSs are a special instance of the more general QECCs where upon restriction to a given a code, the recovery operators become proportional to the inverse of the system evolution operator, hence allowing for unitary evolution of the system. Notice that the subtle difference between these two formulations exists in the two words preserving and correcting, in the former case, error prevention is the method used whereas in the latter case it is error correction. Thus the two formulations differ in that one is a passive method and the other is an active method. Example of a decoherence-free subspace Collective dephasing Consider a two-qubit Hilbert space, spanned by the basis qubits 0 1 0 2 0 one one two one one zero two one 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 two Display style big zero wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two zero wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two one wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two one wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two big which undergo collective dephasing. A random phase Phi display style math BF math it Phi will be created between these basis qubits therefore the qubits will transform in the following way 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 one two E I Phi zero 
1 1 2 1 1 0 2 e i phi 1 1 0 2 1 1 1 2 e 2 i phi 1 1 1 2 display style begin aligned 0 wrangle underscore 1 o times 0 wrangle underscore 2 and long right arrow 0 wrangle underscore 1 o times 0 wrangle underscore 2 0 wrangle underscore 1 o times 1 wrangle underscore 2 and long right arrow e caret i phi 0 wrangle underscore 1 o times 1 wrangle underscore 2 1 wrangle under underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two and long right arrow E carrot I phi one wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two one wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two and long right arrow E carrot two I phi one wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two end aligned under this transformation the basis states 0 1 1 2 1 1 0 2 display style 0 wrangle underscore 1 o times 1 wrangle underscore 2 1 wrangle underscore 1 o times 0 wrangle underscore 2 obtain the same phase factor e i phi display style math bf math it e caret i phi Thus, in consideration of this, a state psi display style psi wrangle can be encoded with this information, i.e., the phase factor, and thus evolve unitarily under this dephasing process by defining the following encoded qubits: zero e equals zero one one two one e equals one one zero two display style begin aligned zero underscore e wrangle and equals zero wrangle underscore one o times one wrangle underscore two one underscore e wrangle and equals one wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two end aligned. Since these are basis qubits, then any state can be written as a linear combination of these states. Therefore, psi e equals l zero e plus m one e L M element of C displaystyle psi underscore E wrangle equals L zero underscore E wrangle plus M one underscore E wrangle quad L M in math B C This state will evolve under the dephasing process as psi E L zero one E I Phi one two plus E I Phi M one one zero two equals E I Phi Psi E Display style, psi underscore E, wrangle, long right arrow L, zero, wrangle underscore one, O times E carrot I phi, one, wrangle underscore two, plus E carrot I phi M, one, wrangle underscore one, O times, zero, wrangle underscore two equals E carrot I phi, psi underscore E wrangle. However, the overall phase for a quantum state is unobservable and, as such, is irrelevant in the description of the state. Therefore, psi e display style psi underscore e wrangle 
remains invariant under this dephasing process and hence the basis set 0 1 1 2 1 1 0 2 Display style big zero wrangle underscore one o times one wrangle underscore two one wrangle underscore one o times zero wrangle underscore two big is a decoherence free subspace of the four dimensional Hilbert space. Similarly, the subspaces zero one zero two one 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 two Display style big zero wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two big big one wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two big are also DFSs. Topic Alternative, decoherence free subsystems Consider a quantum system with an n dimensional system Hilbert space H C displaystyle math call H underscore C that has a general subsystem decomposition H C equals J equals one N I equals one L N H J I Display style math call H underscore C equals O plus underscore J equals one carrot N O times underscore I equals one carrot L underscore N math call H underscore G The subsystem H J I Display style math call H underscore G is a decoherence-free subsystem with respect to a system environment coupling if every pure state in H J I display style math call H underscore G remains unchanged with respect to this subsystem under the OSR evolution. This is true for any possible initial condition of the environment. To understand the difference between a decoherence-free subspace and a decoherence-free subsystem, consider encoding a single qubit of information into a two-qubit system. This two-qubit system has a four-dimensional Hilbert space. One method of encoding a single qubit into this space is by encoding information into a subspace that is spanned by two orthogonal qubits of the four-dimensional Hilbert space. Suppose information is encoded in the orthogonal state alpha zero plus beta one. Display style alpha zero wrangle plus beta one wrangle. In the following way: alpha zero one plus beta. One two alpha zero one one two plus beta one one zero two Display style alpha zero wrangle underscore one plus beta one wrangle underscore two long right arrow alpha zero wrangle underscore one O times one wrangle underscore two plus beta one wrangle underscore one O times zero wrangle underscore two This shows that information has been encoded into a subspace of the two qubit Hilbert space. Another way of encoding the same information is to encode only one of the qubits of the two qubits. 
Suppose the first qubit is encoded, then the state of the second qubit is completely arbitrary since alpha 0 1 plus beta 1 2 alpha 0 1 plus beta 1 2 Psi Display style alpha zero wrangle underscore one plus beta one wrangle underscore two long right arrow big alpha zero wrangle underscore one plus beta one wrangle underscore two big O times psi wrangle. This mapping is a one to many mapping from the one qubit encoding information to a two qubit Hilbert space. Instead, if the mapping is two Psi display style psi wrangle then it is identical to a mapping from a qubit to a subspace of the two qubit Hilbert space topic see also quantum decoherence quantum measurement